everyone, it's Matt Carl at Leroy Heritage Museum. And I'm here with a collection of items that uh, I recently uncovered. And uh, recently the Leroy Church of Christ former outhouse was torn down. And uh, the day after it was torn down, I went back and dug in the pit for where the outhouse was to see what might be there. And... Uh, if you wonder why in the world would you go dig in an outhouse pit, uh, a lot of people do that in order to find maybe things that are valuable, things that they can sell. Um, you never know what might be down there. It could be coins once in a while, <clears throat> valuable bottles or whatnot. Uh, in this case, that was not what was down there, and that was not the reason I was looking in the first place. Um, I it's interesting to to uh, dig in there because you can find things that tell you a little bit more about what was going on in the history of that particular property. And in this case, especially, this outhouse was on a church property. It's been a church property for many years, going back to 1849. And so it was really on unsure I was unsure what might be down there and um, so uh, especially being a church outhouse it's a little bit different from a normal outhouse from just a, a random uh, home and um, so it was uh, uh, an opportunity to see what kind of history we might find so these are the items I came up with after uh, digging that outhouse um, the outhouse uh, pit in this location was only about three feet deep, uh, four feet by uh, ten feet, and uh, laid up with stone on the sides, and um, it wasn't terribly deep, so apparently it was cleaned out at some time in the past because the items here... <clears throat> Uh, I would say, say I would estimate they range in age from early 1900s to the around the 1960s, approximately. And so there are some some interesting things here that I did uncover. And the only thing I didn't pull out and save that was down there was a plate glass from probably broken windows in the church at some time in the past, but. Um, I did pull out everything else that was uh, fairly interesting. So I'm going to share those things with you now. So, <clears throat> first of all, the church hosted many dinners uh, over the years, especially in the first half of the 20th century. And uh, they had a regular dining room there with dishes. And so there are some examples of teacups and uh, uh, little dishes, saucers, and well, I guess we'll start over here with a small plate. And then this large platter, which I guess is uh, probably a, a vegetable dish or something of that nature, that was in uh, the western end of the outhouse pit in pieces, kind of in in the walls of the uh, laid up stone walls of the pit. So that seemed to be the oldest part there. And some of these things were not directly uh, in line with where, where the outhouse actual seats were. They were quite a bit uh, a ways back underneath the floor. So it makes me believe that uh, either the outhouse has been rebuilt at some point maybe or has been the floor has been opened up and they've cleaned it out moved things around or what whatever and so uh, things are were just sort of scattered everywhere but uh, was able to gather up enough pieces anyway to show what this dish was and the floral design that's on there And then there is uh, a saucer there that would have gone with a matching teacup. 
and we have some of the, some of these actual dishes um, still exist, but uh, this apparently had broken at some point, and they threw it threw it away. And then next to it is a is a smaller little dish. Of course, some random pieces of teacups, and uh, then we have some full. Uh, pieces. This is a this is a teacup, almost in good shape, <clears throat> except for some chips out of the top. Um, this is a this was another teacup, and the bottom was missing from that, and then. Looking over here, this is pressed glass, but uh, actually in pretty good shape. So it's interesting that it was thrown down in the outhouse hole. So whether someone was having a drink and didn't feel like taking the glass back inside and just threw it in the hole, I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, that, that was an interesting thing. It's in perfect condition. Um... Over here is a glass, which actually we have, we have others of, but this apparently got through, got thrown down the outhouse hole. Has a horseshoe in the bottom of the glass, which there was a set of those there. Um, and then over here, kind of amusing that uh, apparently people kept losing their comb every time they sat down at the outhouse, and so. Uh, these are three different combs that uh, must have fell, fallen out of people's back pocket or something of that nature. The two upper ones, though, are a little bit uh, older style of, of uh, comb. So I don't know what, what age any of these are, but the green one is definitely a little bit newer. <clears throat> but the other two seem to be a little bit older, and, and those other two are also broken off on the end, so they're not as long as they normally would have been. And then we have a couple of bottles that were incomplete. And then moving up, this item was a pitcher and uh, it has a grape, grapes and grape leaf design on it. And I've used just masking tape to piece these things back together to figure out what they were because the pieces were scattered all over down in the pit. When I first put this together I thought maybe it was some sort of a lamp globe because the glass on there was so thin so I was surprised to turn up a handle and then figure out that it was actually a pitcher and it's no wonder it broke because I can't imagine putting any sort of liquid in there given the extreme thin glass so maybe it was intended more for decoration and someone tried to use it I don't know um, but uh, it is an interesting piece anyway um, there's some random pieces and stuff laying here too uh, bottles the long bottle on the right had a metal cap that dis disintegrated uh, off from the top when I found it had some sort of oil in it the two middle bottles uh, one of them had just a, a tiny portion of a label still sticking on it so apparently it was something that could be purchased but I'm not sure exactly what it was um, the small bottle clear bottle is a perfume bottle and then uh, there's a small wooden I don't know whether it's intended to hold pills or uh, a small vial of something, medicine or something, but it's made out of wood. Um, down below, there is a fork, three-tined fork, um, a sleigh bell, a very small, a small one, maybe off a costume or something that someone had, or a necklace. 
and a piece of porcelain, which is part of the knob and two wiring that was in the church, part of the part of a light is what this would have been, but one of the screws broke off, so they threw it away. And then we'll jump over here, and this uh, the remnants of a Dairy Lee milk bottle. I think it's half pint. And then there are several canning jars because probably from church dinners and such, uh, they brought in canned food and used it. So the one on the left, which is one of the largest ones, is just a screw on top, just very plain, unmarked. The second one looks more like a commercial type jar of maybe something that was commercially bought and then used later. But the top says patented and then there's the dates, there's a couple of different dates, June 9th, 1903, June 23rd, 1903, on the top, so it's a little bit older than I thought it was. And then uh, two of the aqua colored canning jars, Atlas Easy Seal Jar and Mason Improved Patented Jar. The one on the left has a glass top and uh, probably maybe a wire closure. The one on the right has a would have a glass top and then a a metal rim, a metal uh, uh, piece to screw down over the top to hold the glass and seal it in place. Then there was a larger jar. I'm not sure if this top came with it, but the top was was down there. The top looks older, but still had a seal on it. And then this jar here is Larkin's Cedar Oil Polish. And uh, looking that up online, that, that was just a, a wood polish oil. And there was still some polish in there still after all these years when I found it. The next one is a soda bottle which is Kickapoo Joy Juice which is from 1965. Um, this the name the uh, the drink is something that was mentioned in Lil Abner's uh, comic strip back in the early part of the of the 1900s and uh, they came out with a soda in 1965 that uh, was named after it and it eventually died out but uh, just in, in researching what it was in 2014 it's now come back again so you can still you can buy this today in four different flavors but if you remember drinking Kickapoo uh, Joy Juice Feel free to comment down below and tell us what it tasted like. In the back there was a peanut butter jar. And then finally was, uh, looks like a, uh, a piece of, of uh, metal uh, tool for dipping water. Water dipper is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it was down pretty deep inside, so I don't know whether someone was trying to retrieve something from up out of the hole and drop that in there, or what the deal is, but uh, that was down in the in the back part, way underneath the floor. So that gives you an idea of what was inside the Church of Christ outhouse, and uh, didn't find any coins, uh, and didn't find any older bottles, which I was thinking it could be in there. Uh, as I mentioned, the church was built in 1849, so there certainly had opportunity to be older things in there. So it appears to me at some point that uh, outhouse was either cleaned out or maybe was in a different place and was moved and rebuilt. Um, and so maybe there are other, um, other items under the ground somewhere else on that property. I don't know. Anyway, this is what we found in there. Thank you for watching.